Illustrative Mathematics, 7th grade, Unit 6, Lesson 17. Modeling with Inequalities. Problem number 1. 28 students travel on a field trip. They bring a van that can seat 12 students. Elena and Corinne's teacher asks parents to drive cars that seat three children each to transport the rest of the students. Elena wonders if she would use the inequality 12 plus 3n is greater than 28 or 12 plus 3n is greater than or equal to 28 to figure out how many cars are needed. Kieran doesn't think it matters in this case. Do you agree with Kieran? Explain your reasoning. Well, let's find out. We can solve for n for both of these equations. Subtract 12 from both sides of the inequality for both equations. Then divide both sides by 3. 3n divided by 3 is 1n, or n, and 16 divided by 3 is 5.3 repeating, which means it's more than 5 cars. Since they'd need more than 5 cars, that means that they'd need to take 6 cars. I agree with Kieran. You can use either of these inequalities to figure this out. Problem number 2. A. In the cafeteria, there is one large 10-seat table and many smaller 4-seat tables. There are enough tables to fit 200 students. Write an inequality whose solution is the possible number of 4-seat tables in the cafeteria. The information tells us that there are enough tables to fit 200 students. That means that the number of students that can sit at the tables is greater than or equal to 200. The information also tells us that there's one large 10-seat table. That means that 10 students can be seated at that table. The information also tells us that there's many smaller four-seat tables. That's an unknown amount of tables that seat four people. Our inequality would be 4x plus 10 is greater than or equal to 200. B. Five barrels catch rainwater in the schoolyard. Four barrels are the same size, and the fifth barrel holds 10 liters of water. Combined, the five barrels can hold at least 200 liters of water. Write an inequality whose solution is the possible size of each of the four barrels. We have four barrels that hold an unknown amount of water. We have a fifth barrel that holds 10 liters of water. And the information tells us that those two amounts combined holds at least 200 liters of water. The inequality in this situation would be 4x plus 10 is greater than or equal to 200. C. How are these two problems similar? How are they different? They're similar because they're represented by the same inequality, and they're different because one is dealing with tables and the number of students that sit at those tables, and the other one is dealing with barrels and the amount of rainwater that each barrel holds. Problem number three from seventh grade unit six, lesson nine. Solve each equation. A, five times n minus four equals negative 60. Five times n or five n minus five times four or five times a negative four. Five times n is five n and 5 times a negative 4 is negative 20. So we have 5n minus 20 equals negative 60. Since we're solving for n, we need to add 20 to both sides so we can get rid of that negative 20. Negative 20 plus 20 is 0, so they cancel each other out, and negative 60 plus 20 is negative 40. So now the equation reads 5n equals negative 40 let's divide both sides by 5. So we have 1n. 5n divided by 5 equals 1n or n, and negative 40 divided by 5 equals negative 8. So 1n or n equals negative 8. b. Negative 3t plus negative 8 equals 25. I can reread this as negative 3t and negative 8 equals 25. We're solving for t and we need to get rid of that negative 8. The opposite of a negative 8 is a positive 8. So negative 8 plus 8 equals 0. They cancel each other out and whatever you do on one side of the equal sign you do on the other side of the equal sign. 
25 plus 8 equals 33. So now the equation reads negative 3t equals 33. Since we're solving for t and we need to know the value for 1t, we need to divide negative 3t by negative 3 because negative 3 divided by negative 3 equals positive 1. Negative 3t divided by negative 3 would equal positive 1t or 1t. Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. 33 divided by negative 3 equals negative 11. So 1t or t equals negative 11. C. 7p minus 8 equals negative 22. We're solving for p, so we have to get rid of that negative 8, and we can do so by adding 8, because negative 8 plus 8 equals 0. They cancel each other out. And we have to do the same thing to the other side, negative 22 plus 8. Now the equation reads 7p equals negative 14. Since we're solving for p, we need to divide by 7, because 7 divided by 7 equals 1, and 7p divided by 7 equals 1p. 1p equals negative 14 divided by 7. Since negative 14 divided by 7 is negative 2, we know that p equals negative 2. d. 2 fifths times j plus 40 equals negative 4. So we have 2 fifths times j plus 2 fifths times 40 equals negative 4. We can rewrite this equation as 2 fifths times j plus 2 fifths times 40 equals negative 4. 2 fifths times j can be written as 2 fifths j, so the equation can also be written as 2 fifths j plus 2 fifths times 40 equals negative 4. 2 fifths times 40 is the same as 2 fifths times 40 over 1, which is 80 over 5. 80 over 5 really means 80 divided by 5, and 80 divided by 5 is 16. So now we can rewrite this equation as 2 fifths j plus 16 equals negative 4. We're solving for j and need to get rid of the positive 16. We do that by subtracting 16 from both sides because positive 16 minus 16 is 0, canceling them out. And negative 4 minus 16 is negative 20. So the equation reads 2 fifths j equals negative 20. We want to know the value for 1j, so we have to multiply 2 fifths by its reciprocal 5 over 2. Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. We can multiply negative 20 times 5 over 2 by putting a 1 underneath the 20. It still has the value of negative 20, but it's written as a fraction, negative 20 over 1. We could multiply straight across, or we could simplify first. On the left hand side of the equal sign, we have 1j. We didn't have any math to do, we already knew we were going to have 1j because we multiplied by the reciprocal of 2 fifths. But on the right hand side, we have some math to do. 2 goes into 2 once, and 2 goes into negative 20, negative 10 times. So now we have negative 10 times 5 over 1 times 1. Since negative 10 times 5 is negative 50, and negative 50 over 1 is the same as negative 50, we know that j equals negative 50. e. 4 times w plus 1 equals negative 6. So we have 4 times w plus 4 times 1, and that equals negative 6. 4 times w is 4w, plus 4 times 1 is 4. So we have 4w plus 4 equals negative 6. We're solving for w, so we have to get rid of that positive 4. We can do that by subtracting 4. We need to subtract 4 from both sides. Positive 4 minus 4 is 0. They cancel each other out. And negative 6 minus 4 is negative 10. So now we have 4w equals negative 10. To make the term 1w, we need to divide 4w by 4. 4w divided by 4 is 1w. Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. Negative 10 divided by 4 is negative 2.5, or negative 2.5. So w equals negative 2.5. Problem number 4, from 7th grade, Unit 6, Lesson 13. Select all the inequalities that have the same graph as x is less than 4. First, let's graph x is less than 4. 
You can see I used a circle directly above the 4 with the line and the arrow pointing to the left. That means that the value for x is everything that's smaller than 4, but not 4. A. x is less than 2. This inequality has a different graph. It has a circle above the 2 and not the 4. B. x plus 6 is less than 10. We need to subtract 6 from both sides of the inequality sign. So now we're left with x is less than 4. So that certainly will have the same graph as x is less than 4. C. 5x is less than 20. To get the x by itself, we need to divide both sides by 5. 5x divided by 5 is 1x, or x, and 20 divided by 5 is 4. So now the equation reads 1x, or x, is less than 4. So that too will have the same graph as x is less than 4. D. x minus 2 is greater than 2. We need to add 2 to both sides of the inequality sign. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. That cancels each other out. And 2 plus 2 is 4. So now it reads x is greater than 4. x is greater than 4 is not going to have the same graph as x is less than 4. E. X is less than 8. This graph, there will be a circle above the 8 with the arrow pointing to the left. So E is not the same either. Problem number 5 from 7th grade unit 4 lesson 12. A 200 pound person weighs 33 pounds on the moon. A. How much did the person's weight decrease? To find the difference, we can subtract. Let's use the numbers they gave us first. 200 minus 33. That's 167. 200 minus 167 is 33. The person's weight decreased 167 pounds. D. By what percentage did the person's weight decrease? The amount decreased divided by the original amount. That's 167 divided by 200. 0 0.835. That's approximately 84%. The person's weight decreased approximately 84%. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and you can watch the next lesson. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.